Hey, what's up guys, it's Zant here, and welcome to episode 3 of Editing Quick Tips, where I show you something that'll help your editing in 3 minutes or less. So today I'm going to show you some tips about rendering, um, just how to do it faster and more efficiently. So right here I have this fairly large render that I um, did last night, and this is just a little thing I made for my, one of my friends, where it has kind of some smoke and some rose petals falling down. And this is a 4 minute video clip, so this was a very long render, it took about 10 hours, it was rendering all night and a little bit into my first class today, and just now finished. And I'm just going to show you how I did a few things to make this faster. So, um, one thing you can do is go to your render queue, and most of the time people render lossless. Um, I don't know, most of the time this is how I used to do it, but the, pretty much that does is it renders and doesn't decrease the quality at all. And it's a huge file size, it's like 80 gigabytes. And then usually you'd compress it in another program. But actually, if you go to file, export add to media encoder queue what that'll do is that'll actually compress it as it renders so if you are the person that does that two-step render you can actually consolidate that into one step only in media encoder by adding it to that and then you can just do your normal media encoder stuff and it also renders at the same time but um, the way I render is actually I don't render lossless I actually go into render settings I mean not render settings, output module I change this to QuickTime and then go in format options and make sure this is on H.264. Now H.264, this is actually um, the it's an, it's a codec that compresses the video enough to where it's a small file size, but it still maintains quality. And I recommend using that one. It'll render as a .mov file, and it looks very nice and looks just the same as rendering lossless, but it's a smaller file type. And I the only thing about it is that it is an .mov file and that's a QuickTime file. So I don't, hope you don't have a problem with that. Um, another thing to do is turn audio off if you don't have any audio in your render like I have here um, or if, like this had some background noise in it or something like that I believe and I just went ahead and turned the audio off and it saved that and also stuff like reducing your frame rate obviously stuff like that will um, decrease your render time if you're rendering something at 30 FPS and you have your comp set to 60 this will default to rendering in 60 so make sure you change that down to like let's say it's 30 FPS that you're gonna render in um, if you want to actually render at 30 FPS don't render in 60 if you intend to render in 30 or else it's really gonna increase your time and also this is probably a, the most useful tip I have for rendering that a lot of people don't know about but if you actually, um, you know how when you're in a comp and you press con the caps lock, it um, disables your refresh. Uh, same thing applies to rendering. It won't populate this window and that's a less, some less processing that it has to do. And that increases your render time. Over probably about that 10 hour render I did, that probably saved me about an hour. So that is something you can do and only annoying things when you're on a computer you're typing in all caps locks. But that's not the big of a deal. So I hope this was useful to you guys. Um, if this was, be sure to drop a like in the video and a comment down below with some ideas you have for this series. And as usual guys, have a good night.